Hey guys, I'm Chris. And I'm Corey with Off Grid Trailers. Today, we're going to talk about what happens when you show up to pick up your trailer. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so here, here right here, is the vehicle end of the max coupler hitch that you're going to receive. What you need to provide is the actual hitch itself. Corey has a measuring tape, and really what we're going to do, we're going to measure the back of your vehicle and tell you what height we need that hitch to be. So what we're aiming for is 21 inches from the ground to the bottom of your hitch. So when he says the bottom, he's talking about this level right here that we've mounted our max coupler onto. We are at the hitch of our tow vehicle, and what we're going to do is slide our hitch into the receiver. Now the most important part is the measurement here from the ground to the mounting plate of your hitch just about 21 inches, which is right where we want to be. So here we have a pretty standard two inch drop that we've rotated to suit our needs. So guys, at this point in time, it's really great to have someone working with you. A lot of vehicles have backup cameras, so that makes it really easy. But I'm just gonna guide Corey back, show you how we do it. A little bit more. Do a little maneuvering. So once we have it lowered down into place, all we have to do, we slide it through, drop our cotter pin, and we're done. Now we're gonna take another quick measurement and we can see we're at about 19 inches. So the suspension's dropped down about two inches from the weight of the trailer. So what we've done is we've made a couple minor adjustments to the Forerunner itself. We've put some airbags in the rear coils. Stock suspension, you put any trailer on to any stock suspension, we're gonna have some droop, and we talked about what this trailer did to this Forerunner. So when we saw that two inch drop, Corey wanted to counteract that to create a level ride. So next thing I think, Corey, we gotta do is uh, get some air in your airbags and get it leveled up. All right, guys, so we got some air in the airbags. We put about 30 pounds in, which brought the back of the Forerunner up level to where we want it with the trailer. So we're gonna take a quick measurement it's about at the 21 inches, which we are. Love it. Give us a great ride quality going forward. So what we're gonna do is hook up our safety chains. We're gonna crisscross them. And we're gonna make sure we hook up our breakaway switch for the trailer brakes. We're going to grab our seven pin wiring harness and plug it in. And always make sure you uh, pull your jack up and don't drive away with it down. That is how you're going to hook up your new off-grid trailer for the first time. Yeah, so really guys, we went through, we, we checked our lights, we torqued our wheels, uh, we got our, our guidelines and our safety lines set up and safe. Uh, power's hooked up as we all saw. There's a few other things we'll get into in some other videos about how to use the trailer and operate it. Uh, once we get out camping, and I think we're gonna go on an adventure today. We ready to go? I think so. Sounds good. Remember, if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on your notifications. As always, we want to hear from you. Let us know what you want to see in upcoming videos by commenting below. Escape civilization. Wake up in the wild.